Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm an IT trainer of Guide Dog Singapore. Today, I'll be showing you two different iPhone models. The first iPhone model is the iPhone SE third generation, and the second iPhone model is the iPhone 13. Here are some common elements found on an iPhone. Firstly, we have the power button, also known as the side button. And then we have the volume buttons and the lightning connector or lightning port for charging. One major difference between the iPhone SE and the iPhone 13 is that the iPhone SE has a physical home button at the bottom, whereas the iPhone 13 does not. Nevertheless, the function performed are similar. Right here, we have the iPhone SE third generation with the phone screen facing me. We can start by exploring the phone, starting from the top left of the phone. So we'll move our finger downwards, and the first thing we encounter is a switch. This is a ringer mode switch. Push backwards for silent mode to mute it. If you push forward, it will unmute the phone. Moving downwards, there are volume buttons. Volume up is the first button. And the second button is volume down. As you continue to move down, we notice that the rest of the left side of the phone is bare. Now, we move to the top part of the phone. And we notice that it is completely bare. Now, moving on to the right side of the phone, as we move our finger down, we'll find a power button. This is also known as a side button. And as we continue to move down, we'll find a SIM card tray. So this is where you'll put in your SIM card. And as we continue to move downwards, we notice that the right side is bare. Now, moving on to the bottom of the phone, we will find the speaker. And as we continue to move, to the left, we will find a charging port in the middle. And as we continue to move, we will find the microphone, and this is where the sound is being picked up. So for the charging port, it is also known as a lightning connector. It is used to charge your phone, and it also doubles up as a audio jack if you use wired headphones. Okay, so let's explore the front face of the device. Starting from the middle of the screen, as we move upwards, we'll find that there's a earpiece slit. It also doubles as a phone speaker. And on the left of it, we'll find the front facing camera. Moving down all the way to the bottom, we'll find a home button which is a circular button. It also doubles off as a fingerprint reader for biometric purposes. On iPhone, this is known as Touch ID. Now moving on to the rear part of the device, starting from the top left, we'll find a bump. This is the camera. And right beside it, we'll find LED flashlight and a microphone pinhole. When we continue to move our finger around the back of the phone, we'll notice that there is nothing there. But underneath the rear panel, there is a near field communication antenna, also known as NFC, which is used for payment purposes or scanning other NFC tags. There's also a wireless charging coil, which is used for charging your iPhone wirelessly. Moving on to the second model, we have the iPhone 13 with the phone screen facing me. Now it has some similarities compared to the iPhone SE third generation, but it has some differences as well. So let's start off again from the left side of the phone. Moving down, we will find the mute and unmute switch or the ringer mode switch. Continue moving down, we'll find the volume buttons. And as we move down, 
we'll find that there's a SIM card tray. Proceeding to the top of the phone, we'll notice that it is completely bare. Moving on to the right side of the phone, we'll find the power button and continue moving down all the way to the bottom side of the phone. We'll find on the right side there's a speaker. In the middle we have the charging port and on the left side we'll have the microphone. The rest of the components will be pretty similar to the iPhone SE. So from the front face of the device when we move upwards, we won't be able to identify this by touch, but there is the earpiece lid and the front facing camera at the top part. And as we move downwards, the difference comes where we notice that there is no home button. So in order to go back home, you would use gestures instead. Moving on to the rear of the device, We'll start from the top left again and we'll find two bumps. So now there are two cameras and there's also the LED flash and the microphone pinhole. Underneath the rear panel of the phone, we also have the NFC antenna and the wireless charging coil. This is similar to the iPhone SE that we have explored just now and it is common throughout most of the phone these days. So these are the two iPhone models we have covered. I hope you have found this video useful. And if you would like to get a better understanding of the terminology used in this video, feel free to refer to persons with vision impairment under our website for more information. Once again, I'm Dallin. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. If you would like to learn more about operating your phone, you can arrange an appointment with our IT trainers at Guide Dog Singapore by calling 6339-7900 or email us at it at guidedogs.org.sg.